From Peloton to Tempo to VR to Fight Camp, I have been testing out various home boxing workouts over the past six months to find out which one is best. Now, prior to this, I have never taken any boxing classes or any boxing workouts, and to be honest, I wasn't really sure if I was even going to like it. But when Peloton released their boxing workout category, I took my first session with Kendall Tool, and I've been hooked ever since. There is just some sort of satisfaction that I get from throwing punches and learning new combos that I really haven't found doing anything else. Whether it's shadow boxing, mixing boxing with strength training, hitting floating targets in virtual reality, or pounding away at a heavy bag, it always leaves me feeling more confident, stronger, and less stressed in a way I guess only repeatedly punching things can do. Boxing workouts themselves feel so unique. For one, I'm not sure anything gets my heart rate as high as quickly as boxing does. And it just feels like a really interesting mix between strength and conditioning, and yet still low enough impact that I feel anybody at any age can enjoy these type of sessions. So let's break down the various home boxing workout types I've tried and what I've liked and what I've disliked so far for each one in case you're interested in giving it a try yourself. Also, as I go through this, in the comments section below, let me know, one, if you've tried any Connected Fitness boxing classes before, uh, two, if you've enjoyed it or not, and three, what type of boxing workouts you find most enjoyable, whether it's shadow boxing, VR, or using a heavy bag. So let me just start first with shadow boxing, which basically means that you're punching in the air. And this is what I started with with Peloton's boxing programs, and I think it's a really great place to start, especially since it obviously doesn't require you to have any equipment. And while Peloton put together a great two week introduction to boxing program and they add another class or so weekly, there are a ton of other shadow boxing workouts available. I've taken some on the Fitcher Fitness Mirror and Tempo to name a few. And of course, you can always find some here on YouTube as well just to get started. Now, while I think shadow boxing is fun, especially when you're just learning, I will admit that I rarely take these type of classes anymore just for reviews because I enjoy the next three type of home home boxing workouts a lot more. Although I guess the next type of boxing workout, boxing in virtual reality, is also technically shadow boxing as well. It just feels so different to me that I put it in its own category. Now, VR is still pretty limited for what you can use it for for various workouts, but boxing is easily its number one case use. And there are a ton of boxing options in VR, from Supernatural to Light Boxer and many others, some with a more traditional boxing focus and others mixing in various fitness elements. Now, there's both positive and negative aspects to boxing and VR. The best part, in my opinion, is that with VR, the options are really unlimited. One day, you might be boxing an octopus. The next, you'll be throwing uppercuts and hooks at various targets while you're floating in the sky. It's these things which makes VR a little bit more dynamic and more importantly, fun. The biggest negatives of course for VR is that hand tracking is still not very viable. So you will need to hold on to controllers, which doesn't feel great. And it's harder to learn how to box correctly in VR since the only part of yourself that you can really see is your hands. And as of now, because of limited AR pass-through support and the need to hold on to controllers, you're also going to be limited to the shadow boxing type of workouts. Now, the next type of boxing workout that I like to do a lot is to mix in shadow boxing with strength training. Peloton sort of offers this with their new boxing boot camps. Fitcher offers this as well, but it's Tempo who really shines the most in this category. And the reason I like to mix strength with shadow boxing is because I feel like the results that I get with the time spent are just way, way better. Tempo has the most variety by far when it comes to this, including several completely built programs around mixing boxing with strength work, utilizing dumbbells and bands. If you ever feel like you're not getting exactly what you want out of shadow boxing, I really suggest you give that type of category of boxing workout a try. And finally, we have home boxing workouts with actual gloves in an actual bag. And I've been testing out Fight Camp for over a month now, and I'd have to say this is really the best home boxing experience you can get. If you already have a heavy bag, you don't need to buy theirs. You just need to get a set of their boxing trackers and wraps so that it can automatically record your punch punches and your speed. And as somebody who's never used a boxing bag in workouts before, I've just become obsessed with it and taking these classes. Like I like shadow boxing, but I love hitting an actual object like
like 10 times more. It's just way more satisfying and I feel like I get a lot more out of it so I don't have to be mixing in strength work just to make it a good complete session. And I'll have a review out for Fight Camp soon so make sure to subscribe to connect the watts if you want to check that out. But I am very impressed so far. For one, the coaches here are really good and really entertaining so they provide a really solid experience. A two, they have these fully built out programs. Currently, I'm in the middle of this eight to 10 week beginners program, which is perfect for somebody like me because I'm just trying to dial in the fundamentals of my boxing movement and I wanna make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. And I like how I can see my number of punches and my power output so I can compare with everybody else who's taking the class. That sort of added competitive element really makes this type of training more enjoyable to me. And also at the end of every workout, they have you slam your gloves down on the ground. Now. I don't know why they do this and I don't know why I like to do it so much, but it's become like my favorite thing to do. So nowadays, most of my home boxing workouts are spent on the heavy bag and I'm having a great time with it. But if you want to learn more about boxing and VR, I have done several game reviews. You can check those out right here. Thanks for being here, by the way, as always, this is Colin with Connect the Watts. Stay fit, stay connected, and I'll see you next time.